Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. The movie begins at a cartel lab. A DEA SWAT team, led by elite agent James Baker, prepares to storm the lab. The sniper eliminates the first guard, and gives the SWAT team the go-ahead. When they arrive at the lab, a firefight breaks out between the criminals and the SWAT team. When the authorities get the upper hand, the criminals escape downstairs. James and his team go downstairs, and continue to eliminate the criminals. After eliminating most of the Mexican cartel, James orders the last remaining thug to drop his weapon. At one point, he is distracted by another criminal, and the thug pounces on James with a knife, but is soon stunned. Finally, the villains are eliminated, but James discovers that he has inadvertently killed three hostages. Due to hallucinations and nightmares due to PTSD from killing innocents, he is sent home to recover. He finally meets his wife and two teenage daughters after a long time. The action shifts to an imprisoned criminal named Johnny. He will soon be freed, and a group of imprisoned men try to attack him in revenge, for what Johnny has done to them in the past. Johnny easily beats his enemies, and sits down to light a cigarette. He is a former veteran who fought in Iraq and Afghanistan. Moreover, through good behavior, he managed to convince the authorities that he deserves a second chance, and is released from prison. Meanwhile, James has dinner with his family and continues to be haunted by what he did to the hostages. Later, the daughters give their parents a small vacation in the mountains, because they need to spend time together. Back at the prison, Johnny's friends arrive to pick him up and take him home. In the car, the two ask Johnny something about some money he had before he was imprisoned. In a flashback, we learn that he had $3 million in a house. It turns out that James and his family reside in the very house where Johnny hid his loot. In fact, James' daughter unexpectedly discovered the money, and began to use it. With this money, the daughters paid for a vacation for their parents. One evening, as the girl takes more money from a bag, her sister discovers it, and asks where she found it. They argue because one of them thinks that they should not touch the money if it is not theirs. On the other hand, the other sister considers that it is hers now that she has found it. Meanwhile, Johnny and his friends go to meet his brother. Johnny emphasizes that they must take the money quietly, without attracting anyone's attention. That evening, the gang arrives at James's house. A man gets out of the car, and begins to examine the house. When he returns to the car, he reveals to the others that there are four people in the house. At that moment, James, who had been sleepwalking, wakes up and grabs his gun. He goes down the stairs, and shoots at the window through which the gang tried to sneak into the house. The three run away, and James wakes up frightened. His wife wakes up, and takes his gun. He feels guilty, and tells his wife that he can leave to ensure their safety, but she asks him to stay. The next day, an old friend of James, Sebastian visits him to drink and talk. James asks him to stay behind to defend his family, in case he loses control again. He gets help from a doctor, who explains that what he is experiencing is normal after such trauma. Meanwhile, Johnny's henchman informs him of James' career. So Johnny asks his friend, a police officer, for help and promises him 10% of the $3 million. James talks to the psychologist, who advises him to go on vacation with his wife, and relax, this might help him recover from the trauma. One day, James is taken to the police station, and Johnny's policeman friend tells him that he has an arrest warrant against him. Nevertheless, James realizes that the order has not been signed by the judge, so it is not valid. The policeman contacts Johnny, and tells him that the plan did not work, and James is free to go. That afternoon, James and his wife leave for their vacation in the mountains, leaving their two daughters at home. As they are driving away, one of the goons gets out of the car to pretend to check the engine. The other man, Dominic is eager to get into the house. In the evening, the henchmen prepare their weapons, but they do not expect what is about to happen. The sisters have organized a party, and invited a group of friends to watch a movie together. Nevertheless, the henchmen do not seem to be worried about this, and have no intention of calling off the mission. James and his wife are still traveling, and he keeps having flashbacks of the incident. His wife notices that he is not well, and asks him what happened. James tells her that after killing the criminals, they discovered that they had accidentally killed three hostages, a mother and two daughters. The wife tries to console James and tells him that it was a mistake, and it could have happened to anyone. At home, one of the daughters, Natalie, locks herself in the room, because she does not like the party. Accidentally, she drops the lamp, and finds the box in which Johnny has hidden money, a very valuable ring, and a picture of a woman. At this point, Natalie decides to do an internet search on the previous owners of this house. She finds an article about Johnny's arrest, and a photo of the woman, who is probably his ex-wife. 
she decides to hide the box in her PC case, and calls James' friend Sebastian, deciding to show him what she has found. She also informs him about Johnny's arrest, and he tells her to remain calm. Sebastian tells her to hide the money and go talk to her sister. Elsewhere, the henchman Dominic takes pills to build up his courage, before going to work. The other men worry about him, as he may do some horrible things out of control. Back to Natalie, she finds her sister having fun with a boy, and tells her that she has found something. She tries to contact her father, and leaves him a message, telling him to call back immediately. The goons approach the house and put on masks. They discover two teenagers having fun in a car. A henchman captures the boy, while the girl tries to escape, but Dominic shoots her. Sebastian realizes something is wrong, and tells the teens to go home. A guy goes outside to pee, but Dominic finds him and shoots him too. The goons then break into the house, and Dominic continues to kill the teens. Natalie locks herself in the room, and hides under the bed. She calls her mother's phone, and James answers it. Unfortunately, he does not hear her well, and tells her he will call back later. His wife tells him to call back, but they don't have any signal. In the house, Dominic breaks into Natalie's room, and finds her. When James finally finds the signal, he sees Natalie's message that criminals have entered the house. James cannot tell if he is hallucinating again, or if it is real. He plays it for his wife, and she confirms that it is real. He tries to call Sebastian, but he does not answer. So they decide to return home immediately. Meanwhile, the henchmen begin to find the money hidden in the house. After they take the loot to the kitchen, one of the henchmen states that they have a problem. They found everything except Johnny's dead wife's ring. In addition, Johnny's brother states that $100,000 is missing from the $3 million they were supposed to find, and approaches Natalie's sister, asking where the money is, but she says she doesn't know. Fortunately, the other henchman finds the last of the money behind a wall. Sebastian, with his hands tied, finally manages to free himself. Subsequently, he pounces on Johnny's brother, and throws him to the ground. The henchman tries to grab the gun, but Sebastian slams his head against the floor, after which he shoots him in the head. The other henchman arrives, and kicks Sebastian in the head. The henchman calls Johnny, and informs him that his brother is dead. The action shifts to a street fight. Ray, an old friend of Johnny's, fights another man. Ray manages to beat his opponent, and then meets Johnny, who he has not seen in many years. Johnny reveals that someone killed his brother, and tells them to follow him, because he has a job for them. Later, Johnny and the gang of thugs arrive at James's house. Johnny finds his brother's body, takes a knife, and stabs Sebastian to death. He takes Sebastian's phone and calls James, who warns him that if he touches his daughters, he is a dead man. James informs him that he is already late, and he is waiting for him. Then Johnny takes Natalie to his room, and she gives him the box with the ring. James and his wife finally arrive home, and he tells her to stay in the car, while he goes to deal with the criminals. He starts to approach the house, and is spotted by a couple of henchmen in the car. One of them gets out of the car to check it out. James, who has been hiding under the car, immediately puts him down. The other goon tries to get out of the car, but James beats him, knocking him unconscious. James then walks past the house, and kills two more thugs. As he walks, a henchman comes up behind him, and tries to hit him in the head, but James knocks him to the ground. Then he receives a message from his wife, informing him that she has called the police. Dominic goes outside and finds the bodies. James enters the house, and finds the first daughter, who he tells to go outside and escape. Later, a henchman tries to stab him, but James notices his shadow and kills him. Meanwhile, Johnny and his men are informed that James is here. When Ray sees him, he challenges him to hand-to-hand -to -hand combat. James manages to wound him a couple of times with a knife, but Ray throws it away from him. However, he still manages to get the upper hand, and with two kicks to the head, he knocks Ray out. Dominic enters the house with the gun, and James surprises him from behind. Dominic tries to shoot him, but he turns his hand toward himself, and pulls the trigger. Next, he goes upstairs. A henchman Trey is holding Natalie hostage, and threatening James that he will kill her. Nevertheless, James points the gun at him, and kills him with a shot. Then he hugs his daughter, and tells her to run downstairs. James calls Johnny by name, and tells him that only the two of them are left. He opens the door to the room Johnny is in, and throws Trey's body in, which Johnny shoots a couple of times. The two then engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat, with James smashing his face in. Soon, the policeman arrives, and James manages to convince him to shoot Johnny, then split the money and leave. The policeman agrees and kills Johnny, but then James' wife arrives, and shoots the policeman. Finally, 
the authorities arrive, and James and his family are safe and sound. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.